Good morning. I am just about one minute late. Um, you won't believe what happened to me this morning. And if you're getting on early, you're gonna find out. Uh, I was climbing in the truck, coffee in hand, ready to go to my meeting, poured my lap full of coffee, I had to change my clothes. So it's been that kind of a morning already. But it's a great day, and I'm looking forward to talking to you this morning. I'm sitting in my truck, getting ready to drive out my driveway. I've gotta go meet with a client in just a few minutes. And so as you come in, recognize that we're gonna talk about today. What You said what? What did you say? You said what? Now, remember, I'm not wearing my glasses this morning because I'm fixing the drive. So I may have a hard time reading your, I may have a hard time reading your comments, but I will do my best to try to, to, try to communicate with you and engage with you as we do this. This is gonna be very brief. And today I wanna talk about you said what? because there's three things that we need to talk about about communication. If we're gonna be effective in sales, we have to have very good communication skills. Number one, number one, we've got to be careful about what we say. What we say. When I was going to Bible college years and years ago, I had a, a, a classmate that was from New Hampshire and I had a classmate that was from Pascagoula, Mississippi. Those two guys could not talk to each other. It was impossible for them to talk to each other. They would say something that the other person would go, what did you say? For example, the guy from Pascagoula, Mississippi would frequently say, can you cut the lights on? Well, no place except for in the South do you cut the lights on. But that's what he would say when he wanted the guy to turn the lights on. And then he would say, can you cut them off? Well, cut them off makes a little more sense, but I had to interpret for the two of them because they didn't say the right things to each other. And sometimes saying the right things makes communication happen. It's very important to say the right things and not say something that would be offensive, something that would be a turn off, something that might cause somebody to go, um, this conversation is over. And we've all done that. We've all said that dumb thing. We've all said that thing that just dropped like a bomb in the middle of the conversation or the middle of a sales conversation or the middle of a, a, of a discussion with a potential client or in the middle of a presentation that we were making. And you could tell that did not go over well at all. So first of all, you wanna say the right thing. Secondly, you wanna say it in the right way. It's very important that you say it in the right way. Some people, and I'm gonna talk about energy today, when we talk about saying it in the right way. I wanna talk about energy, and there's three things that are important about energy, okay? Are you ready for these? The first one is you need to know when to turn it up. All right, sometimes certain people that you talk to, you gotta turn up the energy. And when you turn up the energy, it brings them into the conversation. There's some people you gotta turn down the energy, okay? Sometimes you need to know when to turn it up, and sometimes you need to know when to turn it down. And it's not, remember this about communication. I didn't plan to say this today, but it's really important. Communication is not what I said. It's what you heard me say. Communication is not what I said. It's what you heard me say. So if I said it fast and you're a slow listener, remember we talked about listening slow one time? You're a slow listener. You didn't hear me say it. If... I can't wait for you to get to the point and you don't get to the point, I'm not gonna pay attention to you because I'm polite, shake my head. I'm gonna pay careful attention to everything but what you're saying, all right? So sometimes we gotta know when to turn it up. Sometimes we gotta know when to turn it down. And sometimes we've got to know when to turn it off, okay? Sometimes we have to turn it off had a really, really good friend who I was training in the sales process and, and I had told him, I said, you don't ever want your sales presentation. When you go in and talk to somebody, when you go in and talk to a potential employer or a potential business owner, you don't want your conversation with them to last much more than a half an hour. If it lasts more than a half an hour, you're gonna be in trouble. Now, there are times when it goes a little beyond that, but a half an hour is really what you wanna to try to limit yourself to. So several months goes by, he sends, he, he calls me on the phone. He said, look, Eric, I, I disagree with you about that half an hour thing. 
He said, I just met with a guy and we spoke, we talked for an hour and 45 minutes. We had the greatest conversation. We talked about business. We talked about this. We talked about that. We, had, we just had a wonderful time. And I said, hold on, hold on. I said, how many, how many employees does he have? He said, 75. They got a, they, they got a really big, they got a big warehouse. They got trucks. They got 75 employees. And I said, he's in trouble. He said, what do you mean he's in trouble? I said, he's in trouble. He's in trouble because if he's got time to sit and talk to you for an hour and 45 minutes and he's got 75 people on his payroll, he's in trouble. I can promise you, you think you had the greatest meeting possible, but he doesn't have a business anymore. And believe it or not, four weeks later, John calls me on the phone and he said, Eric, you won't believe this. You won't believe this. I called that business today and an attorney's office answered the phone. They're in receivership. Told you. You got to know when to turn it up, know when to turn it down, and sometimes you got to know when to turn it off. Because if you go too long, it's an indication that you're talking too much or that other person's got too much time on their hands. Okay? So, you, you, you got you to say the right thing. You got to say it in the right way. And number three, you got to say it to the right people. You've got to say it to the right people. You always want to be talking to the person who can tell you yes. Because if you're talking to the person who says, well, I got I to gotta see so-and-so, or I got to meet with so-and-so, or I got I to gotta run this by so-and-so, uh, you're talking to the wrong person. Say the right thing. Say it in the right way. Say it to the right person. Secret to sales success. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to have some other things that you may see later on today. I'm on my way over to an office. It's tax time, and we're going to talk about taxes, and I'm going to find some help for you as we go. All right? Thank you for joining me today. Love you. Look forward to talking to you soon.